I have a new favorite development board. Nine months ago I showed you this development board and this sketch. The Liligo T Display S3 was my first ESP32 S3 board and now most new boards are based on the same S3 chip. Main reason I used this board a lot was not a microcontroller, it was this large LCD screen. I have used this board many times and feel free to visit my channel if you don't believe me. And now I have a new favorite board. This board is made by the same company, Liligo, and this is T-Display AMOLED. Yes, for the first time we have AMOLED screen on the development board. And it looks amazing. This looks like screen from modern phone. An expensive one. Colors are beautiful, black is really black and everything looks sharp, modern and I don't know, simply beautiful. Resolution of this display is 536 by 240. Yes, you hear it right, 536 by 240. Amazing display. Just check these colors. Even simple black and white examples look great. In this video we will compare these two to see what is new and what is the same. We will talk about AMOLED display, about driver, about speed. I will show you how to program this using Arduino IDE and TFT ASPI library. And I will share and explain my examples. You can find any other video or example on the internet beside this one, because until now this board was not easy to use. But thanks to Nick, we are now able to use this board using TFT ASPI library. I will talk about this later, but first, before we start, I will invite you to join this community and to subscribe to this beautiful channel. Also if you are interested in buying this one or this one, you can find affiliate links in description. That way I will earn 2% and I will be rich and I will buy thousands of similar boards. Ok, let's compare these two. Both boards are running demonstration sketches. Both designs look similar, but I hope you can notice that my coding has also improved a bit. For example, this part could be done much nicer. I'm happy to see improvements, improvements in my work. Ok, what is the same? Both boards are powered by ESP32-S3. They have same amount of memory. Both boards have two push button and reset button here. We still have this acrylic which helps to protect the screen. They both have this connector for I2C modules, connector for battery, for external antenna. And they are very similar in size. And that's it. Now let's finally see what is new. In the AMOLED version acrylic is also covering these push buttons, which works great. Now push buttons are also protected. Also now we have a built-in LED under this acrylic, which can be controlled in code, and that LED is connected to pin 38. This is a great update, but I wish it was blue. The new T-Display AMOLED has this charger LED, which will tell us that battery is charging. And the new version also has this antenna. So it will probably have better Wi-Fi reception. But the main difference is this beautiful display. 
or screen. I don't know if you can see the difference on camera, but this is huge improvement or update. And I have problem now. I want more of these. Also, it is important to mention that this one is more expensive and the reason is, of course, this screen. If we take a look on a product page, we can see that driver for this AMOLED display is RM67162 and we can see that interface is QSPI. We can also notice that there is not too many information about this board, but if we go to GitHub page, we can find more useful information how to install ESP boards in Arduino and how to set board in Arduino IDE but there is there was one problem if we take a look in example folder there is only one example and that example is is using LVGL library and I don't know how to use that library I just wanted to use TFT SPI to be honest I don't know how drivers work and I was afraid I will not be able to use and program this board but one of my subscriber Nick the fix was able to find solution how to program this board using TFT SPI he also prepared driver files for us he added many new functions and Thank you, Nick. Without you, this board would be useless to me and to many others. Lily Go, if you are watching this, if you need a capable man who knows and understands this kind of displays, Nick is the right person for you. And now I will show you how we can program this board. I will show you a trick which allows us to use TFT ASPI on library. Yes, I will share this example and uh, this example, but for uh, to better understand how this work, I prepared for you hello world simple example, which will draw hello world label on screen and it will draw three rectangles red green and blue in folder we can see that we have our Arduino file and we have our header file with pins configuration and we have these two files Nick prepared for us these are driver files so each time you are using this board in same folder where is your Arduino file you need these three files also first you need to include this driver file and you need to include TFT SPI library but you this time you don't need make uh, you don't need to change anything in TFT SPI library because we will not use drivers defined in that library, <laughs> we will use this file. We will use just TFT SPI to write into Sprite, to use great functions Budmer gave us in that library. I hope <laughs> this makes sense. So, we'll need TFT SPI, we will need one sprite and we will need init function for our driver. We will create sprite, I'm using full frame sprite and I have in loop I, I'm calling one, only one function which is draw. Each time I will delete whole sprite, all or fill it with black color 
I will draw hello world on this coordinate. I will draw three rectangles and then I will not use function uh, push sprite. I will use this function. This, this is function which is defined in this file. With this function we will push sprite to this location. I hope uh, this is not this is a little hard to explain and my English is still in the mess but I hope you understand me. And don't forget to set these settings in Arduino IDE. You can find these settings on their GitHub page. You can find all of these examples in the description of uh, this video and you can find more information in the description. Uh, this is a good looking example but right now it is only for demonstration and it show only uh, random values except this battery voltage which is really battery voltage push buttons are used to change brightness and um, to turn on and off that LED screen so also very good example and you can learn a lot from it Thank you for your time and yes sorry I forgot to I promise that I will talk about speed about FPS uh, right now I am able to get 35 FPS with this board which is still impressive because there are a lot of pixels in this resolution and I think this is possible be because uh, QASPI protocol but I will leave this topic to for next video because Nick is able to get 50 frames per second so we need to investigate this and I will there, there will be a video about getting max FPS using this board thank you for your time tell me what you think leave a comment please subscribe if you want you can buy me a coffee and have a nice day and if you want to buy this be hurry i think this board will, this board will be sold out very fast thank you goodbye